Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for joining and today we've got the grubby little mitts on the new Triumph, the 2021 Triumph Trident 660cc. Lovely colour, uh, lovely looking bike as well. So yeah, I'm quite privileged today to uh, jump on this machine and uh, give it a spanking <laughs> so yeah let's hop on and uh, take it for a little spanking as usual the old triumphs you have to pull the clutch in oh I was in gear then so I was on the hill okay oh so that's my first ride on this one so uh We'll see how we go. One thing this uh, hasn't got is the quick shifter and the auto blipper. I believe it's an optional extra. So obviously I'm used to riding like most of my bikes have got quick shift and auto blipper. But anyway, first impressions as always. Good, very good. Very, very good. So yeah, this is a 660cc three cylinder. Six speed, 80 brake horsepower at 10,250 10, RPM. So yeah, it's uh, the middle middleweight, middleweight uh, motorcycle. It's very good this to, to kind of like if you if you're new to getting into motorcycles, Triumph are now offering this uh, in, in their market, so it can be uh, restricted. down to about 35 kilowatt I believe for the learner rider I think they changed the twist grip, tw twist grip and uh, it's a remap as well so yeah anyway first impressions lovely I love all the, uh, the LCD display there very nice indeed that very nice let's put the camera back a little bit there feels very very comfortable the feet are in a lovely position on the pegs, lovely riding position. I think it's a hot, uh, 805 millimetre seat height on this. So me being what, five foot seven, I can touch the floor near enough flat footed on this, which is good. This would make an all round machine, this. <laughs> Commuter bike. Little ride out with your mates at the weekends or in the evenings lovely and smooth lovely and smooth just adjust that mirror a little bit I like say we'll get on the old twisties and we'll give it a little bit of a, a spanking this also comes with ABS as standard which will be the Euro 5 compliant to the Euro 5 compliant most bikes well all bikes new bikes now have got ABS uh, this has traction control and two rider modes so it has a rock um, the normal riding mode and the the rain mode which will tone down the the performance give you a little bit more of a, a little bit more traction control there as well I should think lovely color this as well not quite sure on the actual color itself but we'll have another look at that when we walk around we do a walk around of the bike you know this bike has shower suspension front and rear so show the suspension front and rear, non-adjustable on the front I believe and adjustable in your usual way with a preload on the rear Nissan calipers so Nissin, not Nissan, Nissin twin pot calipers on the front with 310mm discs twin discs, 310mm uh, front discs and it has a single pot Nissan caliper on the rear and to be honest the brakes are pretty good, pretty good We'll get up to some speed in a bit and we'll, we'll try that a bit more but it's not really the warmest day today sun's out though but still um still a bit nippy around the old ghoulies <laughs> so yeah this this bike comes fully equipped with full led lights indicators it's got the seven inch front headlight which uh, would be interesting to try out tonight. Unfortunately, I've only got this for a couple of hours today. So thanks for that Triumph. Much appreciated for the loan of this bike. 
Oh yeah, I love that display. It's not love, nice and easy to read that. You've got your rev counter at the top there. Your speed. Not really done that many miles, I don't think. So I'm not going to go too crazy with it. It's just still probably in the run and run and in process. But yeah, first impressions. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Very nimble. Very nimble. Gives you a bit of confidence. You've got the Michelin tyres. Michelin tyres, so should should be fairly grippy um, in both dry conditions and give you confidence in the in the wet as well. So yeah, very, very, very good. Very good. Feels very light as well. Not actually too sure on the actual total weight of this, the wet weight. But it certainly feels a very light and nimble bike to ride. Good visibility on the mirrors. Good visibility on the mirrors. I don't know if there'd be a bar end mirror option for for this model, but I'll say there's no vibration through the mirrors there at all, but we're only doing 40 mile an hour at the moment. Yeah, the brakes are very good. Yeah, it comes with a 14 litre fuel tank. 14 litre fuel tank, so probably just about the right size. Keep the weight down as well. And I believe the tank is actually plastic. So the tank will be underneath here, the fuel tank. Probably poly polyethylene or, or what have you. So yeah, there's no steel fuel tank. Nice switch gear here as well. I think they've moved away on this model from the joystick on the on the Street Triple, the 765 Street Triple RS, which is the model what I own. Uh, they have the joystick here for your different settings and what have you, but they've moved on to this cursor type this, um, control cluster here. Very simple, nice and simple. Self cancelling indi indicators as well, I believe. Which are handy for me. <laughs> very talky, very talky. I'll say once we get on the on the nationals, we'll open her up a little bit and give her a spanking. <laughs> yeah, overall, feels a very, very easy bike to ride. Very easy bike to ride. A lot of bikes you get on, and you you know you can gel straight away with them doesn't require that much effort and even someone lazy like me with a clutch you know with a clutch because obviously I've got the, the quick shift and the blip on the other bikes and most of the bikes are sort of riding now this is going back to the traditional way the clutch and closing the throttle off and using the clutch which is it's brilliant it's brilliant for the full rider experience and the nationals need a little bit of a clear run it's also um lots of additional accessories i think there's i don't know i've got the number 45 in my head there but there's lots of different accessories for this bike it's also got the triumph connectivity so if you wanted to control your gopro and your you know your music and what have you which will be very useful very enjoyable to ride, very enjoyable to ride we'll see what that mid-range power is like in a bit I say it's very cold today the launch for this was actually in, I believe it was Tenerife, the Canary Islands and uh, yeah it's all well and good, nice roads good temperatures but we, we need to do a real world test you know real rider test of this cold conditions damp roads here and there and just see how it performs overall anyway if you're new to the channel and you're into anything motorcycle related there's plenty more coming consider hitting that subscribe button hit the notification bell be much appreciated and uh, yeah thanks for joining me today like I say there's plenty more coming on the channel We've got summer coming up as well, so 
hopefully some more test rides in store and uh, yeah many thanks for trying for for the opportunity of the the loan, loan of this bike today very nice bike yeah the more the more I, the more I'm uh, more time I'm spending on this the more more enjoyable it's becoming but yeah it's a middleweight bike this one so like I say it will appeal, appeal more to the maybe the new rider actually if you don't get if you're new getting into the bike scene even doing the AT restricted license you could jump on one of these I think the price uh, today is 7,195 I believe 7,195 which to be honest is an awful lot of bike slow down a tad here an awful lot of bike for the cash and you get excellent customer service with Triumph excellent customer service I've, I know I can talk first hand of that because I've experienced it I've had, I've had a, a street triple RS off Triumph he didn't even look that guy then crossing the road he got taken out by a Trident but yeah, I've experienced it firsthand, and you get an excellent service. And another thing with this bike, you just pull in here. Yeah. Another thing with this bike is the service intervals are ten thousand mile. Oh, just stalled. Hello, sir. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. Yeah, ten thousand mile. So. What's it like with the old side stand? Oh, it's behind the foot peg. Okay. Okay. Turn the indicator off there. Actually, we'll turn the bike off for a minute. So, yeah, after your first service, your next service will be 10,000 miles, which is unusual for a bike, and normally about six or 8,000 after the first service. So, anyway, here it is. The Triumph Trident 660, yeah, triple. <coughs> My God, doesn't that look gorgeous? Not sure about all this at the back here, though. Uh, yeah, probably get used to that. But yeah, Michelin tyres on the rear. Road fives are they? Yeah, Michelin Road five tyres on the rear. So actually, yeah, probably give you a lot of confidence in, uh, you know, riding in all weathers. I think these are extras maybe here, this crash protection bolted on here, it's probably because it's a demonstrator but yeah there's lots of additional bolt-ons, you can have hand gra grab hands here uh, handles here for your pillion passenger on the rear there 310mm twin disc there and the twin pot Nissan calipers here, slidable cal slider calipers here on the front and on the rear, you've got the single pot Nissan caliper callip on the rear. 17 inch alloy wheels, cast al alloy wheels. Keep the weight down of the bike. Yeah, lovely metallic finish there on the paint as well. Lovely, lovely he 7 inch headlight on the front there as well, all LED. LED indicators. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Right, let's hop back on. <coughs> oh, steaming up a little bit. Here we go. See if the indicators turn themselves off. Oh, I better just turn it off there. We've got a car coming. I love that uh, LC, uh, uh, the um, TFT dash there as well. Now that is very nice, very nice indeed. Probably look quite nice at night as well. That all the all the information you require there. not too much in your face like a lot of these dashes you kind of like you get a lot overload of information through the dash there but you can see the fuel gauge there speed rev counter along the top there 
the one thing with Triumph, you get all the attention to detail as well. You know, this clamp here on the bars, all Triumph logo on there. So it has got, you know, little Triumph logo on the fuel filler there. It's a 14 litre fuel tank, as I just said before. Oh, <laughs> she's grunty. <laughs> she's grunty. <laughs> Lovely machine. She might have done us fairly good on fuel. I don't know the exact figures, so I'm not going to quote any figures, but. Lovely. Try the brakes, nothing behind. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with them at all. Nothing wrong with them. Like I say, they're not the Brembo's on the front, but the Nissan calipers are in the three 10mm discs. Certainly work, work their magic. So, yeah, I feel quite kind of sport, really. Like I say, if you fancy a test ride on one, get yourself out to your local dealers, your local Triumph dealers, and I uh, would highly recommend a test ride from my first impressions anyway. Plenty of confidence in the grip. Lovely and light clutch. Yeah, that's no head not heavy at all on the on the clutch. So you can have um, heated grips as well. There's an optional extra. This one doesn't have no this one hasn't got the heated grips unfortunately or I could do with them today. So it's a bit nippy. Overall, very impressed. Very, very, very impressed. I think if you want any of that additional extra performance, then you'd have to think about jumping up to the, the 765 Street Triple. The RS, maybe. For more of a sporty ride. It's not really going to be... This isn't really going to be that suited to the track. I'll say again, that'd be more the, the Street Triple. But my word, she's got some torque. Lovely, absolutely lovely this. It's got the scalp to tank as well, here. You can kind of grip on with your, your thighs. Oh, and what have we got in front? We've got the white burn man. <laughs> He's not hanging about either. <laughs> He's certainly not hanging about. <laughs> Oh, the horn. Yeah, I could see myself on one of these. Oh, let's slow down. Could see myself on one. I don't know if I've got any more room or any, any, any more bikes to the, to, to the uh, collection, but... <laughs> Six speed gearbox on this. Six speed gearbox, you use a one down five up for your gears. Very smooth, very smooth. Stay there. Very, very flighty, this thing. Very flighty. I say, you've got traction control there as well, so it's got your back a little bit on these damp roads. Look at the rider mode, shall we? What we got there? Road, rain. Yeah, we'll leave it on road. We'll leave it on road there. Oh, the white van man's going for an overtake. It's very brave on that corner there, on that bend. Certainly not hanging about. <laughs> but yeah, my first impressions are bloody lovely. Lovely. What I like about Triumph as well is like I say, the attention to detail and the feel of the quality. 
you know the quality the look the fastenings everything everything you know the customer care well, excellent customer care from the minute you walk in the showroom to uh, yeah servicing requirements everything and you need that you do need that on a purchase you know when you purchase a bike you need that confidence in, uh, in the dealers and you certainly do get that you certainly do get that like I say this review is just my own in my own opinion anyway you know so uh, yeah Now, like I say, these are coming in at £7,195. £7,195, which really, to be honest, is a very, very good price. There's a lot of bike for the money. You know, I should imagine also there's the second-hand market for these bikes in years to come will still still be a relatively good, uh, good price. Oh, she's nippy. <laughs> she's nippy. <laughs> no problems there whatsoever with the overtake. <laughs> you can have confidence and bring it on and spunk the drive. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful. The brakes, the brakes have got you there. I've got you, you know, plenty of performance there in the brakes too. <laughs> she, she certainly doesn't hang about. Wow. Wow. It's a usable power and torque there as well. It's all usable. <laughs> you know, you get on a lot of these bikes, you just can't use the you know the the power that the bike the, these these bikes have, but this, you, you know, it's all usable. It's all usable. Yeah, it would actually be nice to have this bike for a little bit longer, you know, to um, you know to get a feel for, you know, get a, a, a more of a, a long-term review and uh, opinion on this bike. But I, you know, my first impressions for the first ride are, you know, it's very, very, very appealing, very appealing. Would I have one? Well, I think, yeah, you know, it would definitely be a contender, definitely be a contender. Now, I'm riding that you can ride this at your leisure, or you can spank it. <laughs> hey. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Sun's coming out as well, so it's actually turned out a nice a nice day. It soaks up these bends. Oh. I'll go a little bit easy because there is damp patches on the road. I don't want to get caught out. Keep it shiny side up. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah well, I hope you've enjoyed the first ride review of the Triumph Trident 660 and uh, yeah thanks for watching and like I say if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing hit that notification bell will be much appreciated and um, yeah that way you'll be informed of all the latest uploads and hopefully a few more reviews new bike reviews where, where possible and uh Take care. See you on the next video.